Refugees are among the most vulnerable people. Very often they have to flee their homes and go on a long journey to find safety without being able to take anything but their hopes and fears. The longer the journey takes, the more they deplete these resources and are exposed to multiple risks to their life and health. Since the early summer of 2015, Serbia had to protect and assist more than one million refugees for spans of time that grew longer and longer as other states started to close their eyes, hearts and borders to their suffering. ECO is the humanitarian office of the European Commission. We are the humanitarian arm of uh, the European Union, uh, working everywhere in the world. Um, and obviously we've uh, been involved since uh, the beginning in providing assistance for uh, the migration crisis that I hit Serbia. Any country, even in the heart of Europe, requires international aid to address the most imminent protection and assistance needs of such a big number of refugees. Humanitarian aid provides the fastest and most cost-effective solution. Since the beginning of the migration crisis, what is being called the migration crisis started in June last year, the humanitarian office of the European Commission uh, provided 20 million euro as humanitarian assistance uh, on the Western Balkan routes. We've been working all over Serbia. Uh, something that is important to, to keep in mind is that we are here to, in support of the government of Serbia. We've been putting a lot of money into the rehabilitation of a um, uh, reception centre, starting from Preševo in the south uh, to, um, uh, to Shid or Adashevsi or Principovac in, in the west. Uh, now, to, for the support to the winter, we are also supporting the government to uh, emergency rehabilitate an additional seven centers um, all over the country. Um, in this center, we, uh, our money will be providing food, uh, will be providing access to health services, uh, will uh, provide uh, clothes for, for, for the winter for families that are being stranded in, in the country. The humanitarian office of the European Commission is a reliable supporter of UNHCR operations worldwide, including in Serbia. Most of the time, and this includes all partners, we're talking about big figures. For Serbia today, we're talking about 6,500 people. And these are just figures in the air. Um, now when you come and you talk to, to a family, when you talk to a mother, when you talk to children, when you talk to a um, young man who I mean, crossed the world and basically are stranded here and living in extremely difficult conditions, you understand why you're doing what you're doing. And uh, you understand also why it is necessary to, to support the government of Serbia who has been uh, uh, very supportive of the people um, stranded in the country. We are most grateful to ECHO for having funded many relief items, much shelter, coordination and protection support that UNHCR delivered to the authorities and refugees in Serbia. Mm -hmm.